This here is the next solid. It's a cone with a circular base and it's sloped up to a point at the top. I've just drawn lines on the surface here and it represents a generator. A cone is generated by a shape like this that's rotated about its axis and it generates a cone. So you can see the cone there. Now this represents the plan of a cone. So that's the cone looking directly down on top of it. I have it divided up into 12 sections here. Now to do that we use our 60 degree set square. So this is a line at 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 30 degrees and at 60 degrees again. And that's the cone divided off into 12 spaces. Now to draw the elevation of the cone, we bring the points up and bring the height across and join it up to the top. So join this point to the top here. And that's the cone. Now bring the other points up from the plan. And when you've got those points on the base, join them up to the top. And that's the lines on the surface of the cone. And that's the cone drawn there. Now, this is what it looks like here. Looking directly down on it again. And then the elevation looking straight in at it. That's the view you see there. Now we're given an XY line here on the left hand side. So we're projecting across from the right at 90 degrees to the XY line, down at 45 degrees here, bring the points across from the plan to intersect that line, and where they intersect, draw vertically up. So we'll take point three here, it's on the outside line here, so that there is point three. Four, two is the next one. Five, one is the next one. Zero, six, 7, 11, 8, 10, and the last one, 9. And join those points up to the top to complete the end view. Now, that's the end view complete there now. Now we're given this XY line at 60 degrees, so we draw down at 30 degrees. And using a piece of paper, mark off the distances here in the plan. Set it on on the new space line here in the new view and mark the points here. Making sure to index them as you go along. Now those points have to be drawn parallel to the XY line, so at 60 degrees, bring down each of those points. Now, finding the points, so we'd say point zero here, it's on line four there, bring point zero down to four. Point one is on line five, so point one brought down to line five, that's that point there. Point two on line six, so point two on line six. Point three on line seven, the outside line. Point four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and back to zero again. And that's the base marked out there. Now, a freehand curve through those points and just line in the curve lightly at the beginning. So, 
So that's your curve now lined in lightly. Now this is the view that you'll see. We look down that way. This is what we'll see here. We're going to see this part of the circle here, which is here. And the top point, A, is on line 4 here. So bring A down to line 4, and that's the top point. Now join A to the circle as a tangent, just to touch the curve. And the same on the other side. A tangent to the curve. And that's the cone drawn there now. Now, line in the part that we can see here. And at the back, a dotted line representing the hidden detail. And now, draw in the lines on the surface. And that's the cone complete.